Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and I'm excited to tell you that after three months of downtime, we have finally come back. This is our first major release since then, and this is version 1175. In this video, I'll talk to you a little bit about the existing features, just to get new users accustomed with them, and I'll talk about some of the new things available in this version, and some of the new things that will be coming very soon. It's very exciting, so get, stay tuned, get tuned, keep it tuned, <laughs> I guess. Anyway. Check this out. So, as per usual, you start it with the accounts manager, and you can open this by going to manage. Click that. You'll bring up your accounts manager. You can here you can add in your accounts manually. You know, email, password, or import them from a text file. As you can see, I already have an account added, so I'm just going to use this one. As soon as it's added, your board board should load automatically. As you can see here, they're loading up. Keep in mind, I'm using my iPhone 4 data to record this video, so it might be a little bit slower than usual. Okay, so my boards are loaded up, and um, the first thing I'll show you is the one-click marketing feature. This is a new feature that we're working on now, and this is the basic version you'll see in a moment, but it will be expanded um, soon after. What you do is you go to pins, like so, and instead of hitting scrape, you put in your keyword, Instead of hitting scrape, you hit the OC button, which is indicative of uh, one click. Hit that. It will go ahead and scrape a bunch of pins, and go ahead and automatically, essentially, start pinning them. Nothing to do, very easy, and it will use um, whatever your description is here. In this case, I'm using the comment tag by default, which just uses these um, existing descriptions, generates content for you automatically. And then it will stick to your delay. Here I've got it set to 5 to 10 seconds, which is standard. If you're pinning more than 100, I'd recommend you um, set it up to about 120, 200, just so you can avoid any blacklists. So that's the first thing. It's very cool. This will soon be expanded to also include liking and following. So one click, you type in your keyword, you go ahead, get a bunch of content, pin it, like it, and then follow the people who pin that content, which gives your entire marketing 100% head start essentially. It's much quicker, much easier, much less time consuming. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this now as you can see this is working. Um, and if I go to Pinterest, you'll see that these pins are uploaded. As you can see here, these are the um, pins I just uploaded. Now keep in mind, Pinterest has this slightly weird thing now about repinning and changing the source URL. The website doesn't fund, like just doesn't let you do it anymore. So the way we get around that is to go ahead and um, just download the images to our computer. So let's say with this one, download images, um, like so. It's going to go ahead and download this image. Okay, so images have been downloaded. Then we can go ahead and import pictures and. Pinterest images, I believe, is the folder in which it was saved. Like here, funny, open, sweet. Change our description to this is Boston. And now we can use our source URL, bostonhard.com, for instance, right? Start pin, and now we'll pin the same image from Pinterest, but now you can use a source URL. So that's one of the workarounds you can do. It's pretty easy and pretty simple, um, and doesn't take very long at all. Using, as you can see here, it says, Using the existing board, Pinterest has uh, now been pinned. We go to back to Pinterest and refresh the page. Bossing hard, and as you can see below, it's our source URL has not been used, and I'll redirect it quickly to it. Pretty cool, right? The next step is um, following. That's, that was always a big feature in Pinterest and Pin Pioneer. The ability to automatically manage your followers, follow people, and follow people, and scrape their followers in order to extend your reach, essentially. So let's use a different keyword this time. Let's use a keyword like weddings, because that's big, I believe, on Pinterest. Scrape. We'll go ahead and bring back a list of people. Yep. I can just you know, right click, people, follow unfollow or I can scrape their followers. Pretty simple functionality, but when combined with some other marketing tactics, very, very useful for automating your entire Pinterest campaign. 
Not to mention you can schedule all these things as well. So now it's logging in and it should be, yeah, and it's followed successfully, right? Next thing after that, we have um, the ability to search by categories. So popular, for instance, will bring back all the current popular Pinterest pins. We can download them automatically again and upload them to your computer and upload them back with source URLs. Or you can just comment like, for instance, I can like them. And also check all, check all, and I can go like, and it'll go ahead and start liking, liking these pins. Yeah, the beauty of the program is it's very lightweight. We're back up and running, so no more downtime ever. We have some of the best developers on board working with us um, to make sure this program dominates and conquers the entire market of pin pining, of Pinterest marketing, of Pinterest marketing software, bots, and other things and such. So you can see here that's working great. Stop pin. Likewise, we can go ahead and comment on these things, on these pins. Best photo of the day. Comment. I'll we'll go ahead and comment as well. Now, more importantly, the beauty of this program of Pin Pioneer is the fact that you can run multiple instances, so essentially multiple copies of the same program on your computer, which means that you can run, I don't know, 10 accounts using the rotate accounts feature, 10 accounts running just liking tasks, 10 accounts running just the um, following tasks, just the pinning tasks. You have this nice little web of um, accounts running many things simultaneously, thereby increasing your um, rate of marketing, increasing your upload rate, increasing everything tenfold. Let's stop pin here again. That's a pretty simple overview. Um, that's all for now. There's also some other features that comes to boards. You can scrape pins off boards and that kind of stuff, follow certain boards. But those are the four main functions, uh, with including download images. Four main functions, they're all working perfectly right now. Pin Pioneer is in the process of being relaunched. And in order to first to support development, we're charging a small, small fee of like four ninety five for existing users uh, per month. Apart from that, the program is still very, very cost effective. You can find the uh, buy link in the description. Um, it will be on our website. Sign up, tell your friends. Lots of lots of cool stuff about to come with this Pinterest space, this Pin Pioneer space. Thanks, guys. That's all for now. Check out our next videos. Where we'll be, we'll, we will be unveiling plenty and plenty of new, new features and plenty and plenty of new innovations, essentially. So that's it for now. Bye.